we have some numbers for you guys. So basically, we just wanted to kind of let you guys know, um, we set some goals to save money and about how much we wanted to save when we first started off. And um, kudos, we have met those goals. Um, so originally we wanted to pay off student loans, Devon's car, and our credit card debt that we had accumulated just trying to get prepared to move overseas. Um, within like the first couple months, we paid off our credit card debt and- Our car. His car. Um, and we were able to sell that car again. So for about half what we had to pay off. We have renters in our house who are paying off our mortgage. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, and we don't pay a mortgage here or we don't pay a rent here. So we, need, we needed to figure out how to spend our money and how to manage it as best we could so that we can get the best financial benefit possible. So in terms of money, we have money that we send home every single month that we don't pay attention to. Like we don't have to decide to send it home. Our school automatically sends from $1,000 to $2,000 home every day. Every month. I mean, every month. Mm -hmm. I wish every day. Out of his paycheck. <laughs> um, so he gets paid once a month. And like he said, they send it home um, each month without question, anywhere from 1000 to 2000 It's a set amount, but just know mm -hmm. it's anywhere from that range. And we send an additional, we, we try to send that again on our own. Mm -hmm. So we pretty much do it double or more if we can. Mm -hmm. um, so we end up with about 3000 to $4,000 saved every month that we're trying to, you know, not touch as, as much as possible that we send to America. Exactly. So that's the money that is off top in America on the rip. Mm -hmm. um, so that going home each month for 12 months, we know that we'll at least have $36,000 in the first 12 months. That's our goal, as long as everything runs smoothly and nothing goes haywire. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what's at home. Here, what we spend, um, so our big ticket items um, that we were paying at home, which was our mortgage and daycare. Those were the biggest things we had to pay. Those are completely eliminated Don't here. have kids. Um, <laughs> do have kids, just make sure you plan accordingly. Yes. Um, if that's what you wanna do, but we just totally got sidetracked. Sorry. Anyway, we don't pay a mortgage here and I don't pay any daycare here. Um, we don't pay for any schooling or tuition or anything like that. So the biggest thing that we pay here, can anybody guess at all? It's food. <laughs> that is where all our money goes. And I wrote some numbers down for you guys um, just so that we can throw these out there real quick and you guys can kind of see. Now we are a family of four. It's myself, Davon, and we have two little ones but they eat like grown people. So when we say we spend 700 to 800 kwai on food a month, um, and that's on grocery food. So anything like that we're getting at the grocery store, that's about how much we spend a month. And we have an app that we can show you guys um, how we order all of our food. So, so we're also gonna try to translate the money over so that you can understand what the RMB is going to be oh, like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, she said 800 RMB that we spend on food. 700 to 800. 700 to 800. So at the max, it's, it's going to be like $125 a month, which is like three times less than what we were spending in the States. We were at least spending from four to $500 a month on food mm -hmm. in the States easily. Um, and that's not including how much we went out to eat. Um, yeah, so this is just like groceries, what we're bringing in. Right. Granted, we don't eat as much. I don't cook as much, so we're not spending that much on food like that. Mm -hmm. The next thing I have for you guys is takeout, dine-in, and these aren't exact numbers. This is like a rough estimate, but I put a thousand quad. Um, we spend more on that food than we do the food that's in our refrigerator. Absolutely. Um, but we don't go out often. And sometimes like our takeout can be like rice or noodles a couple nights a week. Um, and that's really, really cheap. We can feed our entire family for like less than $15 mm -hmm. on those nights. And a thousand RMB is just a hundred and it's $150, $150. So even still, it's not that much money. I mean, it's a lot here, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not that it's much really as for a family of four. Mm -hmm. After that, um, we have bills here. Um, and bills here, that includes our electricity for our apartment unit. That includes Wi-Fi here and our phone bill. So we do have Chinese cell phone service, Chinese telephone numbers. And all of that together is 500 quai a month. 
Um, and that so equates to seventy-eight dollars. Seventy-eight dollars a month. You're gonna have to excuse the sounds because there's construction going on at our school. Yep, in our backyard. Yeah. Um. So that's yeah. that. Outside of that, we have transportation, and I just put about three hundred qua a month because. For the most part, everything is in walking distance that we go to mm -hmm. um, or we get things delivered to the house. So shopping, <laughs> yeah. food like that, it all comes to us. And when we travel, like if we're going to go to like Sheko, because we live in Fuchin, if we go to Sheko, we're talking about like a, you know, a 20, 20 minute drive, 25 minute drive. Mm -hmm. And it, DDs are very cheap here. Mm -hmm. um, it's like $8 yes. for that drive. So it's about $46 that we spend a month. Let's just say about $50 for easy math. Okay. Um, so $50 in transportation a month. And then I just put miscellaneous, like just shopping, wanting to pick up clothes items or makeup or hair products or anything like that. I would say we spend about 500 quai for miscellaneous a month. Um, so 78 bucks or we'll make it 80. You, you yeah, know? for easy math, let's just say $80 a month. Yeah. USD. Um, so those are the numbers. Um, and then if we add, and we'll put all this stuff up. So yeah, we'll you put can, it on the screen. But so if you we can add see all of it. that up, come on, uh, Mr. Teacher, let's make this uh, eighty dollars as well. All right. So what do we got? We, we have one twenty-five. Okay. One fifty. Hold on, bro. <laughs> so one twenty-five plus uh -huh. one fifty plus eighty. Eighty. Plus eighty. Plus eighty. Plus fifty. Plus fifty. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yeah. Equals four hundred and eighty-five dollars a month, which is, and that's total. Like that's what we spend. That's that's those. That's everything. That's essential. Mm -hmm. But we still have money left over. So this only works because we have a plan. We had a plan, and we had goals that we're trying to accomplish. Do not just think moving abroad is going to automatically make you save money because if you don't put in the, the steps to actually save that money, it is not going to happen. And we were pretty good with, we, I think we were pretty good with money in the States. The only difference is now we don't have to pay a mortgage and our, our children get to go to school for free. Um, that's the biggest difference. And that easily cuts into our salaries like, I mean, like yeah. crazy. So since we send that money home, we already have done what we came here to do. Yeah, right? and we do that, that's really important. Mm -hmm. For the most part, we do that at the beginning of the month. Like as soon as he gets paid, we take care of that first. Mm -hmm. So then we know like anything we have here is free game, but when it runs out, it runs out because we're not getting money sent back over here from, right. from home. Mm -hmm. Like, so just keep that in mind. And that's, you know, really the main thing is have a goal, execute you know know that we send this money home regardless without thought mm -hmm. we take care of what we need to take care of and then we after that fun, it's bro. free game you know like if we want to do something mm -hmm. we got some trips planned this summer we're going to two different places we plan to either go to beijing or shanghai depending on how covid cases are mm -hmm. we have a uh sponsored field or i was about to say field trip <laughs> we have a sponsored trip to uh uh dang chengdu we have a sponsored trip where we'll be on like a six day uh, trip or three days on a cruise and then three days we'll be landlocked somewhere um, enjoying some hot pot, hopefully. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also trying to reach out to some different uh, people abroad because we, we want to kind of go on a trip, but we need like some help. And we also want to kind of reach out and get to know a few different people as much as possible. Folks, thank you so much for all those people who've been sitting in those comments because like we've been answering, trying to answer every single comment that people are giving us. Yes, that people private give, yes. DMs, YouTube mm -hmm. comments, yes. emails that have been sent. Thank you yes. guys so much for engaging. It right. it makes us feel so good. Like we're helping people and answering mm -hmm. questions. Um, Cause that's what it's all about. It's just, you yeah. know, shining some light, shedding some light on somebody else who's trying to make a difference in their life and trying mm -hmm. to progress and move forward. So that's where we are. Thanks for tuning yeah. in guys. Thanks for supporting and rocking with us. We love, we miss you guys, and we are out on this journey.